What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be kind of an update slash uh, information video about Killing Floor 2. I wasn't planning on making this video, but there's a lot coming to it in the past while, and I feel like I should probably just cover it to make another way that people can know if they happen to care about this, care about this game as I do, because it's honestly one of my top favorite games. So we're going to start off with the class changes. Um, soon there's actually going to be prestiging. So this does nothing to your perks or damage or it does no physical combat benefits. But what it does do is after you reach level 25 you can choose to prestige and you will be then given a special camo for the knife and possibly weapons. Um, that will be all red and engraved. I would pop up an image but like I said I don't know, I don't edit my videos. And so naturally I uh... I don't happen to... I don't have the ability to do that for you, but if you do look into it, you can find the prestige cameras up on Google, or little fact sites and whatnot. There's going to be a lot of tweaks, um, and yeah, basically you're going to reach level 25, and there'll be a new little prestige button, and you're just going to click that, and it'll prestige and reset you back to zero. The, um, the benefits are, you won't um, level up as slow, you have increased level up speed. Um, to top that off, uh, there's no combat changes, like I said, it's just you level up faster, you start back from zero, and then you get the camo. Um, once you do this, you'll get the camo and whatnot. I don't know if there's more than one prestiging, but uh, yeah, that's all I know about it at the time. The second thing, when it comes to upgrades, prestiging, and whatnot, um, is an upgrade system. An upgrade system for your weapons in-game. So suggesting you have like this revolver or whatnot, you'll buy it and then you could upgrade it. Um, I've seen some things and I'm pretending that it's like 12,000 and then it's like pack a punching in Call of Duty Zombies. You spend a lot of dosh and you would then upgrade your gun and it would just have way enhanced perks or like uh, stats I mean. And I don't see this very effective on Hell on Earth. I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's a good thing, but this is, seems more like something for endless mode and uh, going forever and whatnot. Uh, I don't know a time where you'll get 12,000 Hell on Earth anytime soon unless you're doing like a lot of waves and you're good at saving. Um, better than that, it's a good feature and I'm kind of curious how it'll work out and I'm looking forward to it like a lot. Um, if you're any bit in touch with Killing Floor 2 as well, I don't know that those are going to be included in the summer update, but there is some stuff that I do know is in the uh, summer update coming up here. There's going to be like five, four or five new guns. Um, starting it off, there's a sh four barrel shotgun basically, represents the shotgun from Doom 2016, the super shotgun. And then there's a, it looks like... I'm trying to put examples because, like I said, I can't pop up the images. If you've ever played Black Ops 2 Zombies, it basically is like Galvanicles. It's like a lightning fist, like power hand thing. And um, I'm guessing it would obviously be that for the Berserker. Um, so there's that. There's a brand new knife for the survivalist. I don't know if it's going to replace the machete because the machete is on one other class already as well. Honestly, I assume it's going to be on the machete. I just sound machete. I meant, I meant on the survivalist as a starter knife, just uh, so they all have their own little knife. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be that. Um, the upgrading is not coming for it, but there's something gonna be special about this knife. I don't fully know what. Maybe some people know. I don't. I don't know. But uh, as of now, it's just this really cool looking like gore covered knife. It even has gore in the name. I just can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, when it comes to DLC, there is a new character coming out, one of the classics. We're going to go off topic for some update really quick. I'm pretty sure it lands along with the whole prestiging update and everything. You can buy Mrs. Foster from the original game. Or, I don't know. I can't fully remember her a whole lot because it's been too long, but um, I do know she's back. So... Um, she'll be back with the prestiging update as far as I know. 
Um, the other things that they're adding along with the weapons, I might have missed a weapon, I kind of lost track of where I kind of got off set. Uh, something they're adding too is going to be three new enemies. It's going to be three robots. There's the Boomer, which shoots rockets. Um, basically, he uh, has these weird little cannons, kind of like a Revenant in Doom, and he just like basically launches rocket volleys at you. Um, there's going to be the uh, Blaster, I think it's called. Um, it's basically like a minigun wielding robot thing. And then there's the uh, Trapper, and he will then suspend your movement for, like, a limited time. Um, so they sound like they're going to be a pain in the ass, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I can imagine them being overpowered at first, more than likely. Um, I don't know. But, like, with all this coming out with the new guns, with everything, I don't know about a new map, but I hope there is one. If not, that is A-OK. -okay. We got like five guns, three new weapons, um, one new character, uh, prestiging, weapon upgrading, a new melee for the survivalist. Oh, and there is uh, one more thing as well. A uh, objective-based mode possibly coming. Um, I can't remember this name. Once again, off the top of my head, I can't remember and I'm sorry. But there's a guy who is in part one, basically, and he owned a theme park. And... Basically, things are hinting to possibly being on his Zeppelin or something, and having to maintain power or something like that. Um, I don't believe a whole lot of info has been released on that, but like, from what I can tell, um, that's it's probably going to be coming with the summer update, I'm thinking. Uh... I don't know what's what right now, there's two different updates, there's a summer update, and then there's like, the whole, uh, like, prestiging thing. I don't know if the two are connected, or if they happen to be, uh, like, two separate updates, like, this fast. Um, I could imagine they're connected, just because of the vast amount of stuff. Um, it seems like too much to spread out over two different updates. Like, it's literally two massive batches of content, um, for a lot of the classes, and, um, oh, jeez. There we go. But, um, of course, when all this does happen, I'll be doing more exact videos on, uh, the updates themselves, like when it happens, I'm going to go into detail on everything new, um, which will be very soon. Um, I'm not fully sure when when the updates do come out, I'm going to look into it more, but when they do come out, I'm going to be on top of it and like going into each weapon. Um, if there's a new map or objective type thing that does come out with the summer one, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, I look forward to more than likely doing more videos with Sammy as well, I hope. Um, but yeah, I was just trying to cover everything coming to Killing Floor 2 content-wise for my channel. And if you happen to play the game, then you'll probably end up looking forward to this stuff too. Um, I heard that there's going to be a completely additional content drop as well for cosmetics for each of the characters. Don't know if it's completely true, because I don't see it around a whole lot, but uh, if that is true, then that's awesome. Um, if there is a big batch of cosmetics that are added, um, that'd be fantastic. I do know, obviously, there will be a big batch for... Mrs. Foster. I don't know if it's going to be there right off the bat, being she is a completely new, fleshed out character. I don't know if they're going into the detail of also making Halloween, Christmas, Easter, all the different gears. Like, they have so much stuff on their plate right now that, um, it could be, uh, I don't know, it could, uh, backfire. Um, when it comes to the Abomination, I'm just going to go through slight patch notes that I noticed that I personally care about. Uh, one of the, my favorite things from the new patches is they're fixing something that would glitch when the Abomination would grab you. Uh, as if you probably might know, he's basically the newest boss. 
this move right there that he just did, he would glitch you and you would get stuck and you could not move. Um, that had to do with him doing two moves at once or something. I don't know. I don't fully know why it happened or how it happened. Is this a dead end? This is a dead end. That was not good. That was really not good. Um, and then they wanted to like patch stuff with a bunch of the enemies. I know there's tweaks on like tons of them. Um, I don't know that guns are getting tweaked. I don't think any classes are getting nerfed or any guns getting nerfed. I don't think that's happening. Um, of course, I assume the new guns will be slightly, slightly overpowered. Um, or the new weapons, I suppose, being as a new melee as well. But usually you can kind of assume that uh, as new stuff comes out, it gets more and more overpowered because they need time to tweak it. So expect that. I can assume you're also going to see like a lot of Berserkers using the new Shock Fist thing. Um, trying to kill this boss here. But otherwise, that's basically like everything new coming within the next, I I can basically assume, month. The summer update, obviously, is probably going to come in the summer, but I think this month, the other update comes, unless they're both one big update. Uh, we did technically just have the endless update, so it doesn't surprise me but that there's obviously some hesitation here. But these are three updates that are like extremely fast and all within the past like I don't even know how long ago the other one came out. But uh yeah, so that's that's everything coming to Killing Forward 2. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Um make sure you go check out the wiki. <laughs> um other videos I don't care. You can find the pictures of the prestige camos, the new weapons. Everything is just like up there. You can easily find it anywhere. The exact patch notes, I might put a link down in the description. Um, I'll take you to a website, one of the Steam websites, where you can then see uh, all the like minor patch notes or tweaks to enemies or whatnot. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. There's going to be another one right after this of the new World War II DLC. Uh, thanks for watching and as always stay spooky